Hey y'all, Iron Eagle here, and today we are back in the office of the Hornet in our wonderful CF-18 uh, of the Canadian Air Force. I just absolutely adore these new textures. Um, wonderful, wonderful skin by, I think that's Megalax. I'm gonna link it up down in the description. It's, uh, it's really an awesome skin. So today the tasking is pretty simple. What I want to cover is AGM-65's Echoes and Foxtrots in the Hornet. So what we have is Axman 1 as a JTAG looking at some APCs and uh, he will guide us some laser um, for one of these um, laser guided Mavericks and the other one we are going to utilize with our teapot. So this is for the laser guided and then we have the AR guided, IR guided and the IR guided we gonna use them uh, in regular you know in a regular base it was like we are suing our teapot to the target and then we acquire the target on our own and slew the maverick to it so enough, to enough of talking just let's get up in the air and get us started yeah. Okay, let's do this pretty straight and forward. First of all, let's fence in. Lights off, and mass arms on. Let's switch over to air to ground mode, and um, let's see what we got up here. So my uh, COM1, I already set up 133.5, which is Axman 1.1, and um, I'm going to select the, the MAV, which has a laser code of 1111 and we're going to change that later on and we have a uh, second map which is the IR guided and we have two of them on the inner pylons and on the outer pylons we have the laser guided ones which are set to 1111 okay what I know is that DCS default will always go back to the laser code of 1688 so what I want to do is I go to the UFC here, check code 1688, and check that for both of these Mavericks. So now they're listening to 1688. That's set, and um, I'm going to select Maverick again, and um, that's it basically. We are going over to our left DDI indicated by that little diamond and you see it's still caged and let's contact Axman. Well, we're checking in for our, let's say 30 minutes. Axman, one, one, this is in field, one, 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 it's a 18, Yankee, Foxtrot, four, one, nine, five, 20,000. I have AGM 65E, AGM 65F, 600 gun. Time on station is zero plus 30. Available for tasking, what do you have for us? All right, so Axman tells us he is, uh, he's got type two in effect, which means he's got line of sight to the target, and we are ready to copy. Ready to copy. Line is as follows, Banks, two, seven, zero, ten, nautical, 50, eight, MSL, APC, Bravo, Alpha, three, eight, five, four, eight, two, mark by laser, one, six, eight, eight, South, 400 meters, troops in contact, egress east to banks. Advise when ready for remarks and further talk on. Okay, so he's going to tell us basically 270 offset, which means we got to turn around and we egress to um, banks, which is an initial of its initial point uh, in that case it's going to be the egress east and uh, we're coming around and um, telling Axman and a few that we are ready to copy remarks so let's turn around again so 
so the target area should be somewhere behind us there. Let's turn on our hammock mounting queuing system. Okay. Coming around. And we are ready. Ready to copy remarks. Request EGM 65E. Okay. 50 Bravo Alpha 3 E5 4 E2. So Reback correct. That was the copied nine line. And what we're going to do now is we report that the IP is inbound. Okay, so what we do know is that target point is waypoint 2, by the way. Alright, somewhere over there. And um, we're going to tell him that he's going to turn the laser on. So we are 25 miles out. Let's give him 10. So we're telling him. We're telling the JTAG that we are in approximately 10 seconds ready for his laser. So this is what's going to happen here. So what we're going to do now is we uncage the MAV and the Maverick is searching for a laser. Okay, now let's tell JTAG laser on. Now he's lazing. So here we go, we got a lock. I'm gonna line the jet a little, coming over, eight miles. And uh, just for giggles, let's bring up the flare over here and uh, waypoint designate this. It's kind of pretty cool. And uh, let's go to the flare, turn it on. And let's have a look on the target here. There we go. So we've got laser, we are in range, and rifle, and we are egressing to the east. And, oops, I just forgot to tell JTAG that we are spot. <laughs> Alright. We are spot. And we're in. Infield one one in from the west. Infield one one aboard aboard aboard. All right, that was too late. Anyways, I was just uh, coming in from the from the wrong direction, as it looks like. That was basically what you can do with a JTAC um, who's giving you. Um, laser information. That's a heck a lot of more fun if you do that with somebody for real. That's uh, what I can tell you. Go get combined arms, do that uh, with a JTAG on ground, giving you nine lines and uh, lasing targets for you. A heck of a fun if you do that with GBUs too. So let's uh, do the second approach with our own uh, laser and to do that we're going to switch over to a different laser code so let's go to UFC for code on that end let's go for 1588 enter 1588 enter there we go 
that one didn't work out. Okay, let's do that again. Let's come over to the Maverick code 1588. Enter. Now the Maverick, the second one, is listening to 1588. And um, on our TGP, we are listening to 1588 there too. This is 1688 is the code, which is not true. Some minor little mistakes, uh, that can happen. All right, so what was happening here? So when I click on the UFC for my uh, teapot right now, it only lets me adjust the, uh, the laser search um, code, but not the laser designate code. And that is why I forgot to turn on the laser to arm. So right now, I get the laser designation code that I can set, which is currently at 1688, and I want this to 1588. Enter. And now you can confirm it's 1588. All right. So let's go down here, waypoint designate again, and let's roll. All right. I'm going to roll in. And let's go to target, waypoint designate. Here we are again. I'm going to select my laser guided Maverick again. And I'm going to make my right DDI soy zoom in. Whoop, that was the wrong button. There we go. And let's start to pick up one of these guys. Here we go. Let's lock this guy up. Here we go. And point track on this guy. Wonderful. So let's switch over to the left DDI and uncage the Maverick. All right, so while we're doing this, we can Altitude. Altitude. turn on the trigger on the Maverick here. We're just gonna turn it off. Let's see if this is auto lazing for us too. So we are seven miles, 7.7, 7.6, and a half out. We are in range. So let's start and fire the Maverick off. Laser is there, and it's going to track the laser. Oh, coming off to the right. Our uh, teapot is on the left on the Hornet. Climbing. Having an eye on our teapot over here. And let's see. I was going to shack this target. It's a little off. Let's see. That's a long haul man and shack one APC. Okay, so let's go over and pick up one of the other guys. So, one more time. Let's take this guy in the middle here. Looking good. Lock him up. Right. Let's get out of here and let's select the other Mav. Alright. Make the right, uh, the left DDI soy, and uncage the Mav. Oh. Uncage it, and it's in there. And rifle. Right, coming through the right. As you saw. This is, unlike in the F-16, it's everything is perfectly aligned and ready to go. So, this system is a 
heck easier to um, to work with than in the F-16, if you ask me. Uh, let's take a look for another shack. There we go. Let's make the right DI saw again. Okay, everybody. So I hope this uh, explains a little again and kind of like refreshes how to use uh, the laser-guided Maverick in the Hornet and especially the, the ability to utilize the JTAG. As I said, get combined arms, get into one of those Humvees, um, start uh, lazing targets for your friends, for your fellows. It's a lot of fun. Try practicing nine lines. That's a heck of a fun. And um, Or just utilize it with your own teapot. Go for body lazing. It's working just the same way. And um, IR Mavericks, always the same procedure. Bring your teapot up to the location, lock the target, and then uncage the Maverick. If it's locking the wrong target, cage it again and um, uncage it. So re-uncage it again. So the Maverick should lock up the target correctly then. Alright, so I hope that helped you out. I'll see you all next time.